punch he felt he could land, and we talked about it in the keys, but it's worth mentioning again, is the straight a tactical error, even though you say it could get in, because of his height comes at him, he'll lay back. If Polo lays back, he'll go get him. Yeah, which he doesn't even need to start with the hook, but you see, he did it there. Yeah, Freddie Norwood, Derek Gaynor, you mentioned Pacquiao, and of course, here he is. When you think of great and glorious Mexican fighters, we think of Mexican fighters to a great extent of very aggressive coming against the lefty. Uh, and Marquez has a good left hook. This is not his money play. Retrospect, that was ill advised strategy. Marquez landing nicely Time. towards the end. Now we know what we have to do against him. Okay? He's coming up. So we had a round to this for a, for a <laughs> feather weight. Well, to say to yourself now, given how much they constantly sort of low key type uh, guy in the corner, a long right hand for Victor Polo. This is the ooh, there's the hard, the big right by Mark Britt, puncher. Does have power in both hands. Likes to he might. He just hasn't been able to land as effectively as he wants. Trying to get inside Polo's long jab. And you know what he's done by getting off to a good. the WBA it comes right back of that punch and then he follows up using the hook and we get through these first two rounds as you point out Stephen get a lot done and that's not always Polo is not landing with that very good job of slipping that punch see in there he set the left up and the tempo of the fight to Scott Harrison in Glasgow was so controversial. So a lot on the line clearly for him. And somebody that it's possible right. Juan Manuel Marquez might fight. Now. Yeah, doesn't want to avoid anybody, but uh, there is speculation of Harrison. Marquez shooting the uppercut. Time. Up nicely by pawing with some jabs, but Marquez is able to slip. And it's round four scheduled for 12 Marquez. Smarts knows how to engage and disengage. Alfred Cote, Julio Gervasio as well. Some of the crowd is a little disenchanted with the fact there's not a little more, you know, that doesn't resonate, especially with Mexican fans. Willing to fight fire with fire and a dull counter punching, whatever it takes to win. And he's good short right hand there by Marquez as he tries to get a right hand that Marquez slips. Polo, like Marquez, a highly seasoned pro, one of his best. Excellent condition, though. Time. Well, last wonderful night. Round five, scheduled for 12 for the I'm gone a bit in the last round. Marquez's brother, Rafi. And a good straight, and that is to use the jabs to set up the straight left. And there is one of those four rounds. And ironically, that's exactly the way I have it. New York Daily News. Four, three close losses and one draw. Threw combinations earlier in this fight, but now he's primarily throwing a very, very close round here. I feel like I'm 20 years old. I'm ready for it. I hope to very much. Both Julios, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you on the 28th. Don't get hurt. That is for she is beloved there and always will be. You know, the himself, we noted the four attempts to win a championship, but other good Round six. He knew he had to, even though Pacquiao's an aggressive fighter and comes in. That's how Marquez just doesn't initiate action that often. There he throws. And he's scoring. But there's the count. Of his game plan is starting to, to get there a little bit. A rare attack. By a little bit more of. He throws the right, then comes with the left hook. Been kind of a recurring theme. The two jabs of late of the lighter weight classes in boxing have uh, exhibited explosive power. Speaking of power, the right hand. Victor Polo down for the fifth time in his cupping Polo with a straight right upstairs.
Try to make cool and calm. Do that as a big plus or something of a minus, depending on your out. Big round for Marquez, plus an ordained minister. Retire. Fight with the pressure on Victor Polo. Marquez showing. I think he does less of it than he should. Also, part of the problem is here he is. Right, he can get a lot more done. Great right hand. He should maybe crank a few more of those up as this fight wears on. Missed with that right. Came up short. He started. This knockdown came to be. Straight right hand after he. Now he claims he can land that right even when his foot is inside the foot of the side. Fireworks in the seventh. They knock down for Juan Manuel Marquez as we enter round eight. And Marquez goes wrong. Well, Marquez gets this victory for his purposes. Victor yeah, Polo yeah. is a very, very good. Digging in with uppercuts is Polo. Back comes Marquez. Very vulnerable for the counter punching of Marquez. Nice lips. He is closing the distance a bit between himself and Polo. And Lightning. Polo just bobbing and weaving, but hitting nothing but air. See, a right hook just landed by... Uh, prior to the Pacquiao fight, when he went down three times in the first. After that fight, and I do believe uh, that was not a knockdown. No, it's... Marquez going to work as Polo... Shots in exchange, like that uppercut, but for the most part... He feels that he can't be hurt by Victor Polo's punches, but his mud. You know, Polo with his 20... The right jab, there's the press row score. Punch for Marquez. Now he throws it fairly wide, so if somebody's a great... Offer, so... There's a good straight left hand. Uh, because when they do get in the inside, that's when Marquez 10 is great. That's the way it should be. A straight right hand. And it goes back to why the lighter weight classes... Another one by Marquez, and another two. Up in the last round, Marquez able to use that right hand. We've seen that all night. We're already in round 10. Usually when you have a southpaw, heads come. 126-pound championship. WBA. I think most people believe oh, another beautiful right by Marquez. Mar First, they have to find Scott Harrison. <laughs> right. Where are you? Right hook. Straight left. Oh, Marquez with a corkscrew right up. Face with the dilemma. I need to attack more, but it's just uh, before the uh, Ricky Hatton cost. Now, for Victor Polo, Marquez has taken a beautiful series of punches by Marquez. Finishing 11 from Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, Nevada. The goal that, that Scott Harrison, Michael Brody fight. Harrison will be defending his title be June. Who is the best lightweight in the world? Steve Farhood do a great do. job. They sure do. Fisher has it by nine points. That's the widest mark. Oh, in it, you know, a very difficult to lead. Polo has not been able to solve the much trauma no. in this decision as in his past four. Marquez out to win this fight. Marquez pushing Polo back. This array Nine. of weaponry. Right. Victor Polo on the right. Polo getting the Newt Rockney treatment in his court. Lots of straight left hands. They saw the left hands that landed at Pacquiao. Even put Polo down once. To win. And I think part of the reason... Big fight. Yep. I've heard that so. trade. Well, he would. He is going He's very quick. There's a left hook. Shows you how quick his hands are. A masterful boxing performance for Juan Manuel Marquez over this man. Uh, and certainly, at the very least, left a left the ropes combination punching from Marquez and he leaped with that left hook and got him in oh much on this and I think while it was a little bit of a flash knockdown I think he did judge at ringside Thomas Shrek scores about 118 Juan Manuel Marquez